Hello, I'm Peter Agakos with Schmerzel, here today to talk to you about manual reset for safety circuits. If we interrupt the beams of a safety light curtain, or open a door interlock, step on a floor mat, or interrupt the field of view of a safety scanner, each of these safety devices will stop production, keeping personnel safe. Best engineering practices include a manual restart as part of the safety circuit to allow production to continue. Most safety relays and safety PLCs include a rising edge, meaning when you press the reset button, it immediately restarts your circuit and you're up and running. Sounds easy enough. Now, if a reset button is manipulated and held down somehow, our reset turns into something we don't want, an automatic reset. Automatic reset is not recommended for any safety application according to various safety standards. Here's an example of a rising edge detection reset. Using our simulator tool, I will show you an example of rising edge detection. Currently, we have an emergency stop functioning well shown by this yellow line. And this yellow line shows that our safety outputs are active. Everything is working fine. If I were to hit the e-stop button, our safety outputs go low, keeping us safe. If I reenact the safety emergency stop button, my safety outputs don't restart until I press my reset button. Let's do that here. We'll see that once I press the button, everything restarts and we're up and running. Now, if the reset button is manipulated, and I show that by here in our yellow line, if our e stop is pressed, my safety outputs shut down, keeping us safe. However, when I reenact the safety emergency stop, you'd see that our safety outputs energize without the fact of using this reset button. One remedy to prevent the manipulation of a manual reset is to use what's called falling edge detection. This can be programmed in your safety PLC or it's included in some safety relays. A falling edge reset restarts production once your finger is released from the reset button. So you can hold your finger down as long as you want, but production will not start until you let go. This is one way to prevent an unsafe automatic reset condition. Here's an example using our simulation tool. Using the same example, I've added some falling edge detection to the programming. Our system is running. Our safety outputs are high. If I use our e-stop, our safety outputs will drop, keeping us safe. If I manipulate the reset button by holding it down, and I engage our e-stop, you'll see that our safety outputs do not go high. They'll only go high once I release reset button. If you have any questions about manual reset or any other safety topics, don't hesitate to reach out to us directly. Thank you for your time.